Hello and welcome to the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video I want to talk about the uh, Network Plus certification from CompTIA and really go into the detail what is that certification about and uh, does it provide any value to you if you want to get into IT or if you are considering taking this certification. So in this video we're going to talk about um, what the different areas are that Network Plus um, covers. Uh, we talk about who should be considering taking Network Plus. Um, we want to compare it briefly to um, the a certification and then also look at uh, where to go after you become certifi certified. And then of course we'll check what requirements are needed to take the Network Plus certification exam. And last but not least we briefly talk about um, how much money um, can you make um, once you are Network Plus certified. So before we start, I would appreciate it if you give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. Um, it will really help me and it will help with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this video. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out. So let's get going. What knowledge and expertise uh, does the Network Plus certification exam actually cover? For beginners, really, there's the networking concepts, um, anything you need to know about current computer networking, so TCP IP and everything related to how you connect to the internet, how you connect on a, a wide area network, local area network, so LAN and WAN and anything in between. So that's uh, a big part of the Network Plus certification. Then of course um, it goes straight into the network infrastructure. How is the network uh, functioning? What parts are needed? Routers, switches, gateways. Um, firewalls, all these pieces um, will be explained and you will be tested on during the exam. Then of course network operations, so um, how does traffic flow, um, what do you need to look at, what as an example is uh, QoS and uh, related technologies. Then of course network security is a big one. Just in case you already took the a certification exam already, you might have covered just a tiny little bit of this. Network Plus goes a little further into information security, network security. Of course, if you would take the um, Security Plus certification, uh, that's really where the rubber meets the road. And uh, there's a lot of knowledge that you need to have to pass that one. But here for the Network Plus certification, um, it goes a little bit past the basics. Um, so that you have a good understanding really of what information security, network security pieces uh, you may need to pass the exam. And then of course uh, network troubleshooting and tools. Um, you can never expect a network to run smoothly. There might be high network utilization or a denial of service attack and uh, different type of traffic that you need to work on. So the um, certification covers the uh, troubleshooting area and of course which tools uh, you potentially have to use. So more detail on the Network Plus certification and the uh, related exam. So um, it goes into details about designing and implementing networks. So what does it really take to build a network from scratch? Uh, what do you need to know about when you design a network really and where do you place your uh, gateway, where do you do um, LAN segmentation, different IP address ranges. Um, so if you're using public or private IP address, everything that comes into play here, um, this is covered. Then understanding wired and wireless networks and the different technologies and topologies. Um, implementing network security, the different standards, configuration, different protocols, um, understanding really what is involved or how to read a log file uh, related to that configuring, maintaining and managing network devices. So routers, switches, firewalls, everything that is uh, running on hardware um, is running a certain operating system or software version, application version. So those need to be maintained and managed. They need to be upgraded. Um, potentially they need to be replaced over time if something new comes along that is critical and you don't have that functionality. Again in more detail here the related uh, troubleshooting. So um, it really goes uh, past just running a trace or pinging an IP address. Best practices, uh, that's a very important topic that is covered. If you don't follow best practices, um, the most expensive network can be useless. And um, so teaching you about the best practices is very critical. And the Network Plus certification and the related uh, curriculum goes into detail so that you have a good understanding. I wouldn't necessarily say it turns you into a network architect, um, but you should have a good understanding really what does it take to build a network from scratch and what are some of the best practices that you need to follow. 
So who should take a look at taking the uh, Network Plus um, exam and becoming Network Plus certified? So of course, it's somebody that um, potentially wants to break into IT. So if you're new to IT and you don't know where to start, taking the A Plus and Network Plus certifications are a great start. So you will learn in the basics about hardware, operating system, networking, and it will be really helpful when you go into your very first job interviews and um, you can show the skills and the knowledge that you have acquired. So for people trying to get into IT, the Network Plus certification is highly recommended. I would just not use it as a standalone certification. So look into the A Plus certification or uh, one of the Microsoft certifications to accompany the Network Plus certification. Then if you are an existing help desk technician or a network support specialist, um, this Network Plus certification and the curriculum related to it can really help you with advancing your career. So um, you might just have basic network understanding, network knowledge, you know how to troubleshoot the basic stuff, but Network Plus goes much further. So and the knowledge and the skill that you can learn from here really will help you to show that skill at work and then potentially to advance. So network administrators, network analysts, um, while they should already have a good understanding um, to show not just the skill set, but also the credentials, uh, the Network Plus certification cannot be wrong, especially if you are looking for a new job and you want to advance to that next level. So let's say you are level one or level two, you want to go to level three, you want to maybe take a network engineering position with more seniority. So um, this is a great way to really support your work experience and show it on your resume that you have what it takes to move up to the next level. And then again, systems engineers, systems administrators, people that build systems, be it servers, be it uh, virtual environments, be it an internal cloud, or even connecting internal, external cloud, wide area networks, anyone who is related, uh, doing related work in this field, it's really important to understand the basics of networking and go a little bit beyond. So for those individuals, the Network Plus certification really can be a benefit, especially again, if you are going into the job market and you want to advance, or if you want to talk to your manager and really ask for that raise that you're hoping for for so long. Passing that certification exam can certainly help in that area. So next we want to look at should you take A plus or Network plus first. So both are certifications from CompTIA. Um, both I want to say are um, a good certification for beginners trying to get into the field. It's also a good certification once you want to get to that mid level. So if you are junior level or level one analyst or just a junior help desk analyst or technician and you want to make it to that next level, I think both certifications can be helpful for you. If you want to get into a certain field, let's say you want to become a network administrator, network engineer, definitely look at the Network Plus certification first. You might not even need that A Plus certification in that case. It might not hurt though, but again, it's more really when you are on the junior level or soon to be mid-level and if you're going into the job market where it can help to have both. If you are completely new to IT and you really just have a basic understanding, what is a laptop, what is a computer, what is a monitor, where do I start, how do I install an operating system, the A plus certification is definitely what you want to take first. It will also give you a basic introduction to networking and I think with that basic introduction, um, once you go to Network Plus, uh, you will have a much easier time studying and understanding the concepts of networking. So what comes after Network Plus? I mentioned already, if you are in the job market and you want to move up to a mid-level, you want to show to your manager or to a hiring manager that you have what it takes, um, the Network Plus exam and certification is definitely for you. So if you want to move up and let's say you want to go into information security, knowing networking is a critical skill if you want to get into InfoSec. So uh, don't underestimate the value of having a solid foundation and basic computing, basic networking. So that's where these come in helpful. And if you combine the Network Plus certification with different certification, that really shows that you're a, a learner, that you are motivated, that you're looking for new knowledge all the time, but that you're also able to understand the concepts and then prove your knowledge by taking a difficult exam and having the certification on your record. 
So the same thing applies really here for web developers and system developers who rely for their product or service or whatever they build um, to connect to the network. So a web application usually connects to like a database or other systems. Uh, you might sitting in you, that application might be sitting in a DMZ. And um, how do you connect through the network, through the firewall to your backend systems in a safe way? You need to understand networking. And um, so for developers here, it can really be helpful as well. And then of course the information systems consultant. So if you want to become a consultant, go into consultancy, you want to design systems for your customers, it's definitely a good credential to have. I think as a consultant, you cannot have enough certifications really. Um, I mean, at a certain point, are you able to really prove that knowledge? So you have to pick your poison, but it's a good certification to have on your skills on your resume and to really show your customers that um, you are not just somebody who claims to have certain knowledge. No, you are able to back it up by showing that you passed a difficult exam. Are there any requirements to obtain that certification? And uh, no, for Network Plus, there is not really any uh, mandatory requirement. Um, I mean, the recommendation from CompTIA is that you have at least 12 months of some sort of computer related work experience. If you don't have any work experience on that site and you are able to pick up a book, you're, go you're able to go through that training and you want to take that exam, there is no mandatory requirement that you need to need that you need to meet. So last but not least, the big question. How much money is the Network Plus certification worth? How much can it add to your salary? So, and there's not a single answer really that applies to every situation. It really depends. So if you are trying to break into IT, um, the certification itself will not help you to get a bigger salary. You have to start working and you have to prove yourself before your salary can increase. That certification will help you to land that first job. So whatever the going rate at that time is, be it 17, 20, 22 dollars per hour, or a 37, 45,000, 50,000 base salary, well, that's what it is. The certification itself will not help you to get a better salary, but it will help you to get a foot in the door. If, however, you have that first job and you're going and you're growing and you wanna become a mid-level, well, here's a number that um, Payscale actually has published. So the average, salary for a person holding the Network Plus certification is $66,000. So the salary here, $66,000 is an average. So that can be, there is one person that has $35,000 as the annual salary, and there's another one that has 91,000 as the annual salary. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. But overall, on average, 66,000. Again, combining it with your growing experience, it's definitely adding value. I would say probably it makes a difference five to $10,000 compared to somebody who might not have it and um, is in the same area where you are from a skill and from an experience level. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and then uh, let's talk in the comments about it. And uh, hopefully I can answer any questions that you have. So please post those in the comments. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. And then I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.